AFTV Pippa. Um, that was a that was a decent performance by Arsenal today. Much changed team going up against a Leeds team that was very strong, um, and they got the job done. Yeah, I mean the first half was. Not unbearable, but we, you expect better from what we've seen so far. But obviously, it's a changed team, so you've got to give them time. A lot of them haven't played together for a very long time. Sometime, some of them maybe the first time, actually, with Ben White in there. Um, but yeah, it was a good performance. Second half was way better. And I'm just happy. I have to say, though, you're not going to believe me, but I literally called that Callum Chambers goal. I called it. I, I've got it on camera. The, as soon as he came on, I was like, he's going to score. Header. So when it happened, his first touch, I was like, what? It was unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. First touch. Goal, yeah. I mean, <laughs> instant impact. Everybody's been running around for 45 <laughs> minutes, knackered, but yeah. yeah, he just runs on, nicks all the glory of his first touch. Yeah. Kept a clean sheet, too, so he's mm. done a really good performance. But I have to say, as well, Leno coming into this game, I don't know if a lot of people expected him to, but mm. this is the time he has to play now. And I don't see it as, even though it's going to be labeled as we've got a number one and number two, I just see it's got two great goalkeepers, mm. great saves today. I don't think we should put anyone above each other. There's a lot of yeah. people doing that. I literally just saw them now mm. after the game, there's fans saying, Ramsdale, you're better than Leno. Then Leno comes along. Leno, you're better than Ramsdale. It's like, you know, that's what we want. Do that. What we want is competition for places, yeah. isn't it? That, and that's what mm. someone said to me. He said, listen, fight for your place. And he said, yeah, yeah, I will. Um, so, yeah, I think both great goalkeepers, some good saves in there. An okay performance from a lot of players. Martinelli, yeah. I expected better. Um, but mm. then again, he hasn't had a, a run of games. So they all did their best. I, I expect better from Martinelli because I'm always excited to see him. So yeah. I'm on the starting lineup and I'm like, yes, we're going to have some great attacking mm. football. But yeah, it was, it was okay. We were also debating Pepe as well. I was just debating with Yard Man mm. saying that, well, I don't want to say what I said. What, what did you make of his performance? Um, the same, I think, from the last couple of performances, great skills. Just the passing and the end product is not there. That's what's missing from the games these mm. days from him. Um, it, yeah, we like to see when he does a little dummy, does a little twist, a little L turn, all that stuff. It's nice to see. But press, mm. chat back a bit more. Get a shot on target. Just go for it. Um, mm. Fell over a couple of times. I, I know that's not his fault. A lot of players fell over. But I just, I just want to see more from him. Mm. Especially he's been here this long now. Yeah. And now Eddie and Ketia, he scored a great goal. I two mean... Two two now. Mm. Eddie, Eddie. Is he knocking on the door? I, unfortunately not. I don't think he is. I, don't, I, I would like to see him get more time. But mm. I just don't see it happening under Arteta. I don't think he sees Eddie in his plans. But cup games... He's got two and two. two mm. very, the first one was a lot better than today's, but still the touch, the composure of the finish. Great goal again. But um, I don't know if there's a future for him at Arsenal. Mm. I'd, love it to, I'd love there to be, but I'm not sure. And um, of course, a small matter of a trip to Leicester yeah. on Saturday. Uh, that's going to be I a very... I was literally laughing at the Leeds fans saying they've got to travel back on a Tuesday night after mm. losing 2-0. But then we've got to go Leicester on Saturday. Yeah, oh, <laughs> obviously, I'm, ne I'm never confident. I, we can't mm. just be entitled and expect three points anywhere we go, especially away to Leicester, especially how they performed last week as well. I've just, obviously, I'm, expect I'm hoping it's for... Two it. teams on form, isn't yeah. it, in that game? You've got Leicester on form. You've got Arsenal on That's form. Oh, we're normally worried about Vardy. I'm worried about Tielemans too. I'm worried about all of them. But mm. um, as long as we come on our A game... Hopefully, Ben White, uh, he came off and he had a cramp. Yeah. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Yeah. We just need our strongest team out there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be tough. Are you feeling a bit better about Arsenal now? Are you, yeah. what, what are you starting to see? Are you, are you starting to look at Mikel Arteta and starting to say, you know what, I'm starting to see signs that you're turning things around? Yeah, of course. I've said it everywhere. I've, I said it on our, my last mm. AFTV interview. I said it on Sky Sports. I said it on Twitter. I've said it everywhere. Mm. He, we've given him time. Every manager and every team is going to go through, well, not Liverpool and Chelsea, it seems, mm. but they're going to go through their moments. Mm. We had ours at the beginning of the season against two top teams in City mm. and Chelsea and, and Brentford as well. They're in there. But he's turned it around. And as long as he carries on, another win today adds to that momentum. Mm. And that's perfect for him. He played a different squad, still got a result, kept a clean sheet. You're going away to Leicester, you're going away on a high. I mean, mm. fans have to get behind that, no matter how you feel about the manager. Last season, I was saying, get him out mm. after Villarreal in the... Was it? Yeah, mm. after Villarreal in the Europa mm. League. But... Now, just, just, we're all reactionary at sometimes, aren't we? Mm. Just got to go with the flow.